Yeah, who's going to make the jump in the BCS? That's the important question. You did the drum thing where there was no drums. I, I, the guy I wasn't camera. doing any air yeah, drums you there. This. You did this where there was no drums. Well, I'm doing a lot here. I've it got was, a lot of It was Eddie with the synthesizer, the and you're sitting there doing this like you're Alex. All right, I'll try to live up to the air drumming for you next time. Thank you. Uh, the guy that will live up to all of our BCS questions is CBSSports.com's Jerry Palm, who is the BCS guru. And, Jerry, welcome in. I guess the first question would be, uh, is this setting up this season in your mind for just a major debate at the end? It could. You know, the thing is that, what, you know, every October we've got a handful of undefeated teams still at the top of the rankings. And so we're always having this discussion about what's going to happen if they all finish undefeated, because this is when you have to have that discussion. Usually by, you know, three weeks from now, we're not able to have it anymore. And oftentimes we're talking about which one loss team is going to get a shot. Uh, So, you know, it's, but, so I would say it's typical for this time of year. And you look at these four teams and you wonder where they're going to get beat, but it's college football and stuff happens. Jerry, when you look at, uh, obviously, the popular story right now is Notre Dame, and they really needed that win, and they got it. They were a double-digit underdog. They go to Oklahoma. They win convincingly. Yet uh, the coaches still, the coaches and the Harris still believe they're the fourth-best team. The computers seem to love them, and it begs the question, if Notre Dame wins out, uh, or do they control their own destiny, or do they need help? No, they, they need help. Uh, Really, only Alabama controls their own destiny. And, and, and I'd have to say that Oregon is the favorite after that because of their poll position. They're the number two team in the polls. That's two-thirds of this formula. The computers don't like Oregon yet because Oregon's schedule is backloaded. They've got USC once, maybe twice, Oregon State, Stanford still to come on their schedule, the, the better teams that they're going to play. And so they're going to make up some ground. Notre Dame is about to hit the ACC portion of their schedule. Uh, so they're probably going to come back to the pack a little bit. And really, you know, it's funny you talk about the voters. Voters are doing what voters have always done. And that is they move you up when the teams ahead of you lose. And, you know, Notre Dame, nobody ahead of – well, Florida lost. And so they dropped down. And Notre Dame moved from five to four. And that's what the voters do. And it's just – I don't remember off the top of my head that we've ever had a major undefeated team jump another major undefeated team in the rankings this late in the year. How important is it, Jerry, that for Notre Dame, that USC does beat Oregon? How important is that for them, uh, for their well, it would chance be huge. to be title? It would be huge because it takes care of one of the teams in their way. You know, then it, then it becomes, you know, them and Kansas State fighting and, for number two. And it's a double-edged you know, thing, too, because USC then uh, would be a better opponent for Notre Dame to knock off than at the end of the season, right? Uh, yeah, but, sure, but um, – it's uh, it, it doesn't. Yeah, no, in fact, that that's a total win for Notre Dame because then USC is a, is a higher ranked opponent for is, is better for Notre Dame's strength of schedule as well. So yeah, there's 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 no negative to USC beating Oregon this week for Notre Dame. What about is the biggest uh, I guess flying the ointment, if you will, if LSU beats Bama, is that what really turns this this thing on its ear? Uh, well, the, what if LSU beats Bama? Yeah, then that's good for the Oregon and Kansas State and Notre Dame. Because what does it do for LSU? What does it do for LSU though? That uh, puts them fourth. Okay, so it, I mean, you know, they, they, they they move up. They're fifth right now. They move up a spot because they knock off Alabama, and Alabama would probably drop behind them until they move up to fourth. But they're not going to jump an undefeated team. We just talked about other undefeated teams not jumping undefeated teams. Certainly, a one loss team isn't going to. Well, it'll, yeah, I, and I hear you on that. You said that nobody controls their own destiny except for uh, Alabama. I'm curious about this Oregon team because uh, what if they win out? Shouldn't they be a lock? Shouldn't they essentially control their well, own destiny or no? I, I think if they can maintain the, the margin in the polls that they have, if they can be a strong number two in the polls, then yes, they do. But right now their lead in the Harris poll is down to, I want to say, about 75 points, which is not a bad number, but there's 115 voters, so you'd want to be around triple digits. Uh, they're only down to, I think, a 25-point lead over Kansas State in the coaches' poll, which is not a very big number. Uh, that number has been getting smaller, and if that number keeps getting smaller, that doesn't bode well for Oregon long term. When you look at uh, the rest of this thing, and I, we want to kind of bring it back to Ohio State, and I know it's a huge hypothetical, and they're ranked sixth and that sort of thing. Um, here in Buckeye land, let's just hypothetically say Ohio State would have, you know, went, you know, wins out, goes 12-0. and 0. 
Where where do you think in the long run? I know the other games have to play out, but what is the max Ohio State could have gotten? Do do you think? Well, Ohio State, I think, would be at currently if they were you know if they were eligible. Currently, they would be behind Notre Dame, so they'd be fifth. It, uh, well, Oregon's the bottom four. Of the, the bottom of the okay, okay I'm sorry, behind, behind Oregon then. They, they would. I'm thinking in terms of the poll. Mm-hmm. Um, they would be behind. They would be at the bottom of the list of the major undefeated teams. At the end of the season, they would be at the bottom of the list of the major undefeated teams. That could be first. It depends on how many there are, but they would be the last of the major undefeated teams. Would they be above a one-loss LSU team? Yeah. Yep. Yep. They, they wouldn't have to worry about one-loss teams. It, it's the undefeated. They would be at the bottom of the list of the undefeated teams. They wouldn't be ahead of. Alabama or Oregon or Kansas State or Notre Dame, they wouldn't jump any of those teams, but uh, but they would be ahead of anybody with a loss. And it is speculating, you know, the fact that Ohio State's ranking could be affected throughout the season by the fact that they are on probation or, they, or they're uh, not eligible to play in the bowl. That could have affected the way they're they're ranked by some of these people in the in the poll. But how Maybe. much would the Big Ten's schedule, the Big Ten, the schedule, the strength of schedule playing against the Big Ten teams? How much would that yeah. be hindering Ohio State? Yeah, I, I think that that would be that would definitely be the biggest factor in holding him down is the fact that the rest of the league stinks. It, it, it just, it's, it's a train wreck. I mean, I've been watching Big Ten football for nearly 40 years. I've never seen it this bad. It is awful. It's the worst you've seen league. in 40 years? Yeah, I, I cannot remember the, ever this league being this bad. Help. Ohio State should, should not be winning a division undefeated, but the rest of this league is so bad that, that, that Ohio State looks better than they really are. No, I mean, yeah. I, and I don't want to take anything away from them because this is a great season, especially first year for a new coach. They look like they're ahead of schedule, but uh, the, the, the looks are deceiving because it's all relative. They're better than the rest of this league, but the rest of this league has just been dreadful. How bad would Ohio State be in the computer rankings? Is that, they, is uh, that, where, they, is wanna, that where they'd be crushed? I want to say eighth. I want to say they'd be around eighth. Okay, so right, right around South Carolina is somewhere in that area, Florida, South Carolina. Uh, yeah, thereabouts. Uh-huh. Yeah, I want to say I want to say around number eight in the computers. I I don't have it in front of me, or I could actually tell you if you go to the BCS rankings page on CBSSports.com and go to the bottom where the ineligible teams are listed, you can see where Ohio State's computer rankings would would put them. All right, beautiful. I'll do that. Uh, when you look at this Kansas State team, that's uh, three right now in the coaches and the Harris, but yet number two. In the uh, BCS, the computers love them. I think four of the computers have them at number one. If Kansas State wins out, why don't they control their own destiny based on where things would uh, sit? Because they're behind Oregon in the polls, and the polls are two-thirds of this system. And if Oregon wins out, eventually they're going to catch up in the computers. Sure, right. I mean, right now, you know, like I said, their schedule is backloaded. They're going to play the better teams. They're eventually going to – they're not going to be sixth in the computers – at the end of the season if they're undefeated. So so Kansas State is going to need to have a pretty good lead in the computers over Oregon with the current poll margin. And if Oregon is, is, goes out this week and puts up a number on USC, like 50, you know, Oregon might get some of that poll margin back. All right, predict it for us, Jerry. Uh, talking to Jerry Palm, CBSSports.com, BCS expert. Uh, when this thing gets played, I know you'd have to predict the game sort of thing, but what feeling are you getting here right now? Is everything pointing towards Bama and Oregon for you or something else? Well, that's my current bowl projection, Bama and Oregon. I, I think that's, you know, I was actually thinking that USC could win the Pac-12 until this weekend, and then they just just seemed good, like they couldn't be bothered to play Arizona. It, it's, I think they've got the talent to do it. I just don't know that they've got the focus to do it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'd say Alabama and Oregon uh, are the two favorites right now. And the pivotal thing for Notre Dame is to get USC to pull the upset there of Oregon? That's the pivotal yeah, recipe? Yeah, I mean, that would, be, that would be huge for Notre Dame. It actually doesn't really matter to Notre Dame who beats Oregon. Somebody has to because they're not going to pass them on their own. Uh, it sounds like from what you're saying, though, the, the whole uh, thing is Ohio State, if they were going defeated, could you imagine how upset people would be here locally? If Ohio State was undefeated, not in the championship game, it sounds like Ohio State being ineligible is almost a blessing. Um, it, I think it was very short-sighted of them not to take the bowl ban last year. Yeah, we all, we've all been because, saying because that in the it, hindsight of it. Been eligible. I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know what they were thinking. Well, I do know what they were thinking. That the precedent had been they set. Get the ban. They thought they would not get a bowl ban, so right. why take one? That was it. But that was that was very short-sighted. No doubt about it. Well, let's see what happens. Obviously, Ohio State still got three games left, and uh, and we'll see what happens there. Jerry, great to catch up with you. I know this has to be a, 
a lot of fun with Notre Dame being back in there for you. And uh, oh, Purdue guy, I, I just assumed they were out of it. Well, come on, he was a BCS guy. You got to love the conversation. You're a Purdue oh, guy. Yeah, it's, all, it's, it's uh, yeah, but yeah. you know, we talk about whoever's there. It doesn't have to be <laughs> Notre Dame for me. All right, well, you've become a big Trojan fan, I guess, in the, in the short <laughs> in the short future. All right, buddy, appreciate it. Thanks for catching up. All right, thanks. That is Jerry Palm, CBS Sports.